in developing news, a pro-Palestinian protest we've been following at the University of Utah turned violent overnight, leading to arrests and the injury of a police officer. So the U is just one of several universities across the country gripped by protests over the unfolding conflict in Gaza. Hundreds of students and staff at the University of Utah rallied on the steps of the president's building on campus yesterday, demanding that the U divest from Israel. Now, later, they marched to a nearby field where they pitched tents, linked arms, and all prayed together. Police moved in to clear those student demonstrators just after 11 o'clock last night, and that's when things turned violent. So at last check, 17 people were arrested during that protest, and one officer was injured. And while officers obviously cleared them out, and things are pretty back to normal there this morning, there's still some plans for some protesters to actually return later today. So ABC4's Matt Fonts live for us at the U this morning. I know it's calm this morning, Matt, but it feels like we may be in for another tense day of protests. Yeah, absolutely. Good morning, guys. As you can see here, we're here at President's Circle where those protests uh, and rallies broke out last night. Obviously a lot different of a scene here this morning as we pan around. This is just kind of the first start of some people showing up to the area that we've seen so far this morning. Some people with the university uh, and a few students have walked by probably on their way, you know, to the class gym library, you name it. But really what's left here this morning, I want to show you. We have some trash left from those rallies and protests last night. We've, we've got a handful of signs here that were left, even this one here, Free Palestine from the river to the sea. Again, a lot of signs and debris left here from those protests last night. We also have some chalk writing here on the ground as well. We'll pan down so you can see this one. This says hate cannot drive out hate. Any only love can free Palestine. So they really were using all resources out here to get their message across. Now we want to show you some of the chants that broke out last night uh, during those rallies. Take a listen here. So you can hear them there. They're saying, disclose, divest, we will not stop, we will not rest. Now those protests again started at about 4 p.m. yesterday here at President's Circle at the U of U. Police reinforced that protesters were able to express their right to free speech, but the issue came in with them setting up tents to stay overnight. Now police then came out around 10 p.m. to issue a warning to protesters that they must leave the area and declared it an unlawful assembly. Now we also spoke with a U of U professor yesterday. He's been teaching with the University of Utah for 14 years and had this to say on the rally that took place here last night. Take a listen. And it's extremely important for the educational mission of our university so that the students can express themselves and can have arguments and can have, you know, discussions and this leads to better learning and eventually learns to the better world. So we are here just to protect the assembly and make sure that they are, you know, they are they're protected. As you could see there behind him and, and kind of in what he said there as well, the protests and rally did remain pretty much peaceful up until the evening time again when police told them that they were not allowed to camp out here overnight. Now we do have a few updates for you here again. Police did disperse the protesters at 1220 a.m. this morning. Again, 17 people were injured and one officer, uh, 17 people were arrested, excuse me, and one officer was injured. Now the University Department of Public Safety also issued this update at 1245 this morning. Saying Final exams will continue today for students. Traffic in the area has resumed. Campus shuttles and Utah Transit Authority buses are in operation and University of Utah hospitals and clinics remain open. So definitely a good sign here for students who, you know, just want to get back to the norm and, and be able to attend class as they close out the school year here. Things do look to be uh, going back to normal, but obviously still a fluid situation and we'll be staying tuned to see what happens later on today if those protesters come back out here and what their mission is and what their they're looking uh, to do here today. For now, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. We'll have more coming up in the next half hour.